Hello my friends, it's Brooms here and welcome back to the channel and today we're bringing you all the news we have about Texas Chainsaw Massacre and what's coming out in the game for the future. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, join and like the video to support more content like this. I'll also be putting down in the description the references from where I took all this information. First of all, we're gonna have a new map coming out. That's right, it's called the Junkyard and the only picture we have from it is this. This apparently will be where Black Nancy lives and Black Nancy apparently is Johnny's mother. Well, not quite. Apparently what's come to pass is that she killed Johnny's mother a long time ago and then she just raised him. We've got some gameplay here for Black Nancy and she looks absolutely devious. Her main ability called Spy will allow her to see through the victim's eyes very briefly. And you can see her on this clip, it's all a bit blurry, so it won't be a clear vision. Still, it might give you an idea of where the victims might be. After using that ability, she will be stunned briefly, but she'll be able to use CC wildflower power table in order to recover from the stun a little bit quicker. As part of her kit, she'll be able to lay down some traps which look like barbed wire. Once the victims walk through it, they will take some damage and also will have the wire stuck on their leg, making noise with every single step. Like Hitchhiker's traps, it looks like she's able to reset or even collect her traps back to use them somewhere else. The other thing with the barbed wire is that the family can also accidentally set off the barbed wire traps. So you just gotta make sure you're communicating with the rest of your team. Also on successful hits, Nancy will be able to make her victims temporarily bleed out and that will allow her to collect more blood from them. It seems like she's got a higher blood vial capacity than the rest of all the family members. We've also got a leak of Nancy's executions and voice lines I told you stay away from my Johnny <sighs> does that hurt <sighs> 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 they couldn't have gone too far I know they're here somewhere In terms of new cosmetics, we're getting a new skin for Leatherface, which is paying homage to Greg Nicotero, who's a makeup artist to several horror movies. Also notice the new skin of the chainsaw he has in there, which looks really cool. Each family member will also receive a bloody version of the current skin, which I have to say look really great. It really reminds me of the whole Friday the 13th skins, because after you hit a certain level on that game, then your characters will get this bloody skin. The devs had also updated us on what perks stack and which don't, so the grandpa perk do not stack, so it's important that you guys don't put the same grandpa abilities when going into game. The only family perks that will stack are Venom and Activated, and also Serrated and Rough Cuts, which only stack with each other, not on their own. Apart from that, no other perks stack. In terms of victims' perks, only Bad Blood and Fight and Flight stack, nothing else does. With regards to the ability tree upgrades, they do not stack as well, and I thought that was pretty obvious, but I can see why some people would have the confusion. That means you should really only be putting one point on on each side of the tree, but if you want to go to that top middle point, then you will have to have two points on the middle column. Luckily, some characters have quite different ability effects on the top middle of the tree, but not all, so bear that in mind. And we also know that the devs are still working mainly on fixing the XP issues, which if you leave early as a victim, you will not get the XP that it says you do. So if you are playing as a victim and you score a lot of points on that match and you just been killed and other victims are still in the game, do not leave, just stick around so that you don't lose all that XP. If I make anything less than 600 points, I tend to leave because I just want to get into a new match. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Remember to subscribe, join and like the video to support more content like this. I do appreciate it. Thank you for watching and I will see you all next time.